Oh, and I've killed a beaver, and everyone is starving now. It's just one log. Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are playing Timberborn, and some of us are having a better time of it than others. Right now, we have Jeffrey Miller and uh, Texuria Alexera, Alex, Alexera on the uh, on the power wheels, and they are helping us make planks, which is going to be really important today because. I've been surveying this and there's something we need to get to. I want to be able to, to farm in the dry season. And right now it's impossible. We don't have a way to keep our island green. So there are a couple of things that we could do. First of all, we could just say, all right, well, we're going to move. <laughs> we could relocate everything across here. You see, there's this little uh, barrier here that we could break down. And, and hopefully at that point, that would fill up with water and this place would stay green. That is not a great option. We've built a lot of stuff here. We've invested a lot of time. So we could try to build a dam. The problem with that is the water flow is so weak here and there are so many places we would have to stop the water from moving. So we'd have here to block, here to block, which would prevent our power wheels from working. Here, 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 here. And, and I don't think we could even reach all of those places. So we're gonna need to get creative. And getting creative, I think, is going to be creating a ditch around the island that we could have water store in in the off season. So that's going to require us to get to explosives. So explosives are under the landscaping menu. It's right here, explosives factory. To, to create the factory, we need iron, gears, and planks. And then to create explosives, we need paper. To get the iron, we actually need to get a scavenger flag to get uh, the, the ruins over here. And then we need to turn the ruins into iron with wood and uh, with a smelter. The smelter requires 200 power, so that's a lot of power. The other complicating part of this is that I believe this is just a little bit too far away to be a part of this district. So I looked around, we've got this one that's obviously too far away. We've got this that's obviously too far away. And we've got that, it's probably too far away. So that leaves us in a spot where we need a new district. But before we do that, I wanna get this into a, an absolute powerhouse something that creates so much power that we are just cranking out planks. The way that we're gonna do that, I've noticed that we've got a weird situation here where this is full, this log pile. We're gonna create log piles right here. So the other thing I wanna do is rethink about this power supply. It's gonna be a while before we are able to actually accomplish what I was hoping to accomplish with our power situation, so we should get creative with our power. The way that we're gonna do that is make a complicated series of uh, connections here. So let's grab a power wheel. So let's take a look at this. First of all, get rid of this. And what we'll do is we'll change the power direction. And then we'll make a connection here. So we attach all of these right here. And I'm almost thinking that we need to give some thought as to how we get over to this island. And I've got an idea. So what I'm thinking is we'll just come here and make a nice straight connection across. And then we'll get our water pump going again. Got that going again. Our water pump is reestablished. We need a way down here. And this bridge is important, but really getting this power uh, established is even more important. I think the other thing I'm going to do right off the bat is just give some thought as to what this needs to look like. And we'll remove, because I really want to crank out a ton of planks. I think they're going to be very important for us going forward. So we'll just establish that right up front. So now we have a path down and the beavers should be able to come down here and start working on our power connections. Now, I don't know if they're gonna be able to reach this. Yeah, that's a problem. So we're gonna need one more stairway up, which is unfortunate, but just not something we can do much about. Now I'm gonna add a path in front of here because I'm gonna have more production of planks right over here. Uh, I think what I'm going to add is one gear workshop and two planks. So there's our lumber mills. I'll even add another power wheel. So we're going to generate so much power. We just need to get going on this stuff. So now our power is going. We are starting to move. And now we can resume this. And these are going to be critical as we work towards building this area out. Now, we can already tell, based on some of the things that have happened over here, that this area up here is gonna be our prime building area. And I'm really hoping that we can reach this. I'm not sure. The other thing that we should start to think about a little bit is these carrots that we have planted over here. This is not the highest and best use of this property. 
which is a planning term. <laughs> Never thought I would apply to a, a, a beaver game. That's okay. Let's give some thought to this over here as well. So what I'm going to do is again, take some of this land back. Because if we're going to, if we're going to have wheat, which is what we talked about before, and this is maple, so we can actually have uh, some buns. I'm going to close this down for, I'm going to pause it for a second because I want to take a look. We need a grist mill and a bakery if we are going to make the maple buns, the maple pastries, the breads. So the grist mill requires power. So let's unlock that. That takes some of our science. So what I'm going to do, I've, I've, I've taken too much away. Let's stop what we were doing just a little bit. This one's good. We want to get rid of that and these two. And then we want to expand this over just a bit. So what I'm going to do is add in this. I'm going to pause this one. We don't want to get moving on this one before we finish our power connection. And I'll get rid of this. So we've got a lot of things that we're working on all at once. And as soon as these are gone, I'm going to start laying this out so you have an idea of what it should look like at the end. The other thing we could start working towards is a tap shack. We have the resources for this. It's going to be really important if we want to make those maple buns. And I think that we do. We want to make those. They're a more complicated food item which means that they're more valuable to the beavers. Okay, and let's get our grist mill right here. There we go. Then we can see we've got a lot of stuff going on right now. It's really, I'm, I'm, I, I have this tendency to do this where I just really get ahead of myself. <laughs> uh, it's fine. Here I am using 500 science again. And there we go. Our tapper shack is ready to go. Well, it's, it's in place. <laughs> it's not ready to go. We're still waiting for this gigantic complex to be finished. Now I'm beginning to get impatient with this. So we're just going to spread this over here. The reason why I'm impatient is I want to start building this area so that we can, we can start to get our district ready and divide these, these beavers up. So since we're getting started on this as well, I'm going to build one more thing. First of all, we, we do have plenty of beavers. We've got our workers. Good. And are we still making science? We are. So what we're going to do is unlock our bakery and we'll put our bakery down here as well. And I kind of like the look of those backed up to one another. So that's what we're going to do with that. Once they're done clearing these, I'm going to actually prioritize harvesting carrots. And once they're done harvesting all these carrots, I'm going to change what is planted here. I will clear the planting area so they don't start adding this back in. And then as soon as this is done, they're just going to pull it out of the ground and it'll remain empty. Both of these are harvesting. We should probably have one set to planting. Champ Chimp is back. Uh, Jay Flynn dodging otters, a beaver that's dodging otters. <laughs> and you can see, so this red demonstrates that we're getting a little bit too far away from this district. And I hope we can make it all the way across because if we can't, we're we're in a tough spot. I was really hoping I could get, get over to here. That's seeming less and less likely. The only way I think that might be possible would be to create another bridge. And that's just, this is already very expensive. I can't see, well, maybe I don't need another bridge. Maybe I didn't need a bridge at all here. I could have had steps. It's a little more challenging over here, but we could do it. It's only two down. Yeah, that's what we'll do over here. We'll just have some steps down. And worst case scenario, that's the way that we'll handle this. They will follow that path. Now that should be a shorter path. Now I want to see how much power we're generating here. Not nearly as much as I'd hoped. So it's a lot. Don't like <laughs> these are flying 90 right there. But this one right here, because of its location, is only generating 11 horsepower or beaver power. So that's that's pretty disappointing. It almost makes me want to have another one of these. <laughs> another row. We might do that. Have another row of these going. That's the thing. We can just keep expanding out as much as we want. Okay, so we're across here. I want to demolish these to see if it's possible. And then we're going to have a road coming right here and we'll build a platform across. And I'm going to speed these up because I want to know what's possible. All right. And that's exactly what I was hoping for. We've opened this up. Water's flowing in there. It's filling up. Perfect. So our food is a little suspect. Our situation's not great. And I think part of that might be that we're just not harvesting the potatoes as quickly as we should be. We're certainly processing them fast enough. 
But in the meantime, we're moving in a good spot. We've got beavers everywhere. Look at that Yabbies right here. Belisarius. Richard Maynard. Nick J. Macon, who's going to be making us some, uh, some flour. And we're all, wow, here we are, another one. So this bakery's ready to go. We can do maple pastries here, but we'll turn that off because we are gonna have maple because our tapper shack is done. And uh, Nick just across the street found a new job. We need some steps up so that Nick can, Nick can hop up here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mark this for demolition and we'll have a road and some steps right there. We could have put that in the middle. Maybe that would have been a better choice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That would have been a better choice. We're going to mark these right here for demolition. All right. We've got this step going in here. Now I'm curious when I look at this, it's red. You see that it ends right here. Here it's really red. And what I'm going to try to do is mark this area clear for resource. Uh, I'm going to try to clear this area and Brandon will come over here. Let's mark some resources for Brandon to clear because I just, I want this absolutely empty. All right, Brandon, what are you doing? Where are you? All right, comes up here, starts chopping. Get this whole place cleared up. I'm going to harvest for e everyone. Harvest, harvest, harvest. Let's get all these potatoes. We've got six beavers beavering away, pulling potatoes up, hopefully getting them over here because we don't have all that much food and I'm nervous about that. I'm very nervous about that. Plenty of water and we can survive a drought because we have this deep area and now we even have this lake. So this is gonna work. That's way too far away. But because I place this at the end of the district, he's gonna go over here and do his little beaver business. And then at the very top, at these steps, I really want to place our new town center. So, our district center rather. So it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a nice little setup. We have a seven day drought. We got our potatoes. They're watered and alive for now. We are not in a good spot at all. Here we go. Everything is turning brown. Oh, please. Let's see. We've got one day to harvest all of our potatoes. Now over here, I certainly could have a farmhouse. And I think that we're going to need to think about that. And now we're moving again. And eventually I will take some of these farmers and relocate them over to here. This is already tough. This is a six day growing period. When we look at this, it does reach almost every area I just planted. We can come up a little bit further. And once we get this, speed this up for a second and see if this, this whole area should be covered. At least that's my hypothesis. Oh, that was a bad hypothesis. And the only way that we could probably get this covered would be to do a, have a bridge. Oh, and there's already a hungry beaver. Let's turn our working hours down, which might sound like it's the exact opposite of what we want to do, but I want to preserve their energy and hopefully consume less food. Now, I don't know about you. If I were working less, I'd probably be eating more. I know that that has been a thing for me in the past. Maybe not all that long ago, even. <laughs> Maybe it's ongoing. We've got this guy clearing, they're planting. We've got a little bit of food. We can survive a while. We'll be okay-ish, I think. Okay, so we've got this now, and now it covers that entire island. So that was the difference. I wish I would have done this in the first place. So the District 2 will have its own little farming area. And really, this isn't even the purpose of this area. The purpose is to get over here. So I'm going to start on this platform. So we've got two days left and almost no food. We do have some of this, which is starting to come along. We're going to need to make sure that we're not creating this new district right away. Because we've got some work here. And we were running out of beavers, interestingly enough. Uh, it's because we have a whole bunch of beavers dying of old age all at once. And I almost want to just build this bridge. I get really obsessed with connectivity. It's not at all necessary. The underwater stuff is, is good enough most of the time. But this would be just a, a, a shade faster. I'm curious how far they're going to go on this bridge. Because you can see it's not even connected. I don't know how they're able to make this. They shouldn't be able to, but they are. So I'm not going to question it. It's working, <laughs> but, but it shouldn't be. Okay. And we're a half a day away from this drought being done. We are running out of food, but these potatoes are nearly done. So this little move here likely saved our, our entire village. And I'm realizing something as I was staring at this, we've got this and we've got this one over here. So I, I bet it's a bridge too far pun entirely intended, but I want to create a connection here. And eventually this is going to be just great. <laughs>
There we go, we're greening up again. That'll get these guys over here that no longer have jobs working. Ah, oh, thankfully our potatoes are starting to come up here. We're gonna be able to keep moving. So now I'm going to make our little path connection here because this is where our district's gonna be, our district center. And then we're gonna start, need to start thinking about some of the buildings that we have over here that we're gonna need to have to keep this area functional. So those types of buildings are gonna be you know, storage, we're gonna need storage buildings, we're gonna need homes, and I very well might just cut a road here and put that district building up there once they go for this. Let's check our progress over here. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you that's as far as they're gonna go because that's a that is when you look at the distance I think that we've really pushed the limits uh, of the game and what it's willing to accept now over here everyone set the harvesting we've only got three farmers I'm gonna set this one to planting and then eventually when some of these children go grow up hopefully they come over here we can turn off these power wheels actually to get ourselves moving we don't need beavers running around and we should really make sure we have a 16 hour work day again to get some stuff done because we are suffering right now the other thing is we have this area right here so i'm thinking a little beaver apartment and then eventually maybe a beaver statue right here that would be really cool so we're gonna save this area for that we're making some progress towards what we what we wanted what we want <laughs> you what you could you do you wait what we want to accomplish but at the same time we gotta have some fun and fun for me is wacky designs sometimes and everyone is starving now this is great this is absolutely terrible <laughs> thankfully we've got these potatoes harvest 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 i know it's so far away you guys don't want to do this you're hungry but the only way you're not hungry is by finishing this, so finish it. All right, I think that we're gonna add another farmhouse over here. And this is honestly because the last thing that we need is another death wave. We'll figure out how to get workers here. We've got a whole bunch over here. I'm not, they're not, they're not doing much right now. Here we go, and then let's take one away. Each of these, and then prioritize these by the haulers as well. We'll also prioritize the grill by the haulers and hopefully this gets because our productivity is only at 50% right now and I don't know if that's because they just don't have potatoes or or what the case is but we want to make sure that we are certainly moving in the right direction there and everyone's starving <laughs> thankfully no one's dying yet we're only dying of old age so it's just it's uncomfortable right now how far along are we on these Ooh, this is not good this is not good. Oh, and uh, 4LFR4 died, died of hunger. Oh, Brian Stark died of hunger. Begun the famine. Yes. Our unemployed beavers are falling like flies. So yeah, yeah, we are uh, in a rough spot. And knowing that we have no food, it seems like an excellent time to start building some housing. There we go. We'll give ourselves a little bit of room over here, too, so that we can have some steps going up. We've got no food. We've got 10 potatoes over here. I'm going to turn it up. We're going to crank it. Let's get these potatoes harvested. Oh, it just it takes so long. And it feels like that's because they're walking their two potatoes back slowly. We've got 12 food. Oh, man, this is... Ooh. <laughs> this game is stressful. <laughs> that's, that's the thing about Timberborn. When it's going well, it, it, you can just lull yourself into believing that everything's going to be great forever and now i have a whole bunch of lumber and gears and no food which is very unusual very unusual so what we're going to do here is just turn the corner and go up the steps and then have a platform and then we should be able to have another platform here all the way across and have a second story eventually i'm wondering i talked about this this platform and creating a path all the way through here and I'm thinking there might be some value. And the reason is that path, whoop, that is not what I wanted. <laughs> that path will just be a little bit shorter and hopefully speed things up just a little bit with our trans transportation. 86 food, we are clearly doing something positive over here now. So that, this is why things are going well. I can turn this down and turn these up. So I'm actually regretting something that I did. And what it is, is I could have built our new storage into this so what i'm gonna do is just delete this i'm gonna build a large warehouse turn it in here back it up and then we can put a path right here and a platform perfect and in fact we could even one up this well we're 
when we're reaching for density. We're going to need to be really thoughtful about this design, but I think it's going to be really, really neat if we can pull it off. There we go. And this is going to be super cool. So we've got this all lined up to be a nice little enclave here. And I probably should have been a little bit more creative here. I could have had a couple more beaver houses. Shoot, I can't, I can't leave it like this. I can't, I can't do it. So hindsight being 2020, I could have put some more beaver estates in here. So we're going to do that before, before I keep going up. Okay, so what I did is I worked in two more houses here for two beavers, two more for single beavers, and now we're going to have a way in here and a way up right next to it, and that that's more density. I could have done more here too. I could have built some steps. Oh yeah, I've got to do it. We'll just mirror it, and then we'll turn this one into it, and then we need to give some thought to how we reach these areas. So double platform. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. I think I might need another platform to just to reach this. So we'll just build this here. And we'll come out one more level. Have our steps up here. And there we go. And this will be all the homes. I mean, this is this population is going to be very similar to this one now. If you look at the number of beaver homes that we have, it's not all that dissimilar. These are just configured in a way that's really compact. We've got another drought and we still have no food. Okay, so let's get this going. We've got our tapper doing tappy things. These couple of guys don't need to be pumping and we can slow down on some of our production here. In fact, let's just stop all of our gear and plank production. We're not gonna have power anyway. Actually, we need some. So we have wheat now and we need this to work. So we'll turn these ones on and our bakery because we want that to work. Now this will dry out quickly, so I want to prioritize the wheat, and we've got one unemployed beaver. That's not very much. It's really unfortunate. I thought we were gonna do better than that. We'll take a couple of builders away. Hey, we've got uh, some very familiar. Wow, that's impressive. We have two vase. <laughs> we have 800 names in the naming list, and we get two vase. That shows the commitment of Vey to the channel, and I appreciate it. So here we go, this is gonna die. <laughs> we've got, we've, we're have we getting almost no wheat from this too. That's unfortunate, this is dead. Drying out and we'll die in 0, 0.0 days, it's gone. Set it to potatoes, there are potatoes. To harvest here, work, work. All of you beavers, work. Everything's almost dead here, just get to work harvesting, please. And there all of our potatoes go to the great beyond. Hopefully we can make it through a six day drought. I'm not feeling incredibly optimistic, but I'm also not feeling totally pessimistic. There's nothing more to harvest. You guys, you guys gave it your all. Let's really work on harvesting and it will turn our hours down to 10. Just really take a break. We need to focus on our science for a couple of reasons. And those reasons are all related to labor. We need a distribution post and a drop off point. So for our drop off point, I want that to be right here. We'll come right up to this and then we'll have a distribution center. We'll have to unlock that as well. We're going to put that over here by all of their warehouses. There we go. That'll do the trick for us. So we've got a little bit of flour. Oh, we actually have some wheat. We're doing okay. I'm going to actually increase the number of hours that we're working. I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. We just need to op get, get on our power wheel and get moving. So... Belisarius, get to making some wheat. So I want to get rid of some of these pads that we've had going here on the ground. I don't think they're beneficial. They're getting some use, but it's just redundant at this point. And I don't like them. Oh, and I've killed a beaver. Oh, who have I killed? Who have I killed? Oh, Fuzzy. Okay, we can't leave Fuzzy Grizzly behind. We're going to need to do our best to save Fuzzy Grizzly from really the fate that I've... I've I've left Fuzzy too. Let's prioritize these. We, we gotta get these built. We gotta save Fuzzy. Are we gonna do it? Hungry Beaver. Going to Beaver stuff over here. Oh, they're just ignoring. Oh, Fuzzy, don't, don't, don't just... Uh, you're... Just patiently sleeping, wondering what the world wants you to do. Are we prioritizing lots of stuff? I don't think that we are. Get working on this. Okay, we're, we're, we're starting to work. Fuzzy's hungry, Fuzzy's thirsty. Okay, we've got one set of steps. All right, let's 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 follow Fuzzy. Are you, gonna, are you gonna make it? All right, all right. Get your water. 
Go get some food. Fuzzy Grizzly lives. <laughs> <laughs> we've we've uh, we've saved Fuzzy Grizzly. We'll leave that step there. I'm not. I have no problem with that. <laughs> I also need to relocate some of these log piles. We're taking up valuable land here that could be better used as farmland. And now I'm gonna empty these. So hopefully those those don't get filled up anymore. And look at this. We've got all these filled in. And look at we've got a couple. Oh, hi, one of the vays is over here living. Jimmy Bartlett, Nick J. Macon, Belisarius, July. So all of the beavers that we've been working with, they're all over here. And uh, that's good. They're going to get kicked out. We're going to evict them as soon as, as soon as we separate this. But we're, we're at least, it's at least, you know, it's a little helpful, helpful for now. We're actually okay with just our two water pumping folks over there. So I'm going to leave these two. We don't need these right now. We probably should build some over here. We should probably have a some sort of water storage and considering that requires gears and planks I'm gonna do that right off the bat as well now this is not beautiful <laughs> it's not even efficient we're just we're doing some stuff at this point we'll need to fix this in the future we do have unemployed beavers which means that we have some beavers to move over here now I want to get this district built so what I'm gonna do is just cut the road off right here and then we'll put our district Center put that right at the top of the steps here. I oh, this is yeah, it's too far away I really want that to be centered on the road So I'm gonna put it right there. So we're gonna need to preserve that Vista right there That's gonna be really nice You'll see that we do have maple syrup and pine resin now Which is really exciting because we need the pine resin in the future We will so with the tapper houses I a tapper shack. I turn them off from time to time uh, just because we end up with so much in our storage, we can load up our storage with these 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 uh, resources that aren't super valuable unless you're using them. At that point, then they're very valuable. Uh, but we've got a ton of maple. I'm going to turn this off right now, truthfully. It's not, we don't really need any more at this point. We're still working on our wheat. And we've got tons of maple. We've still got that lonely lumberjack over here. We're going to release him of the burden of being a lumberjack. We're also going to need over here, now that I think about it, we're going to need our own grill. So we're, we have potatoes over here, so we'll get that going as well. So we've got a lot of unemployed beavers at this point, and I think that they would be more beneficial hauling stuff around. I'm going to move some of them anyway when we get this new district, but whoa another drought <laughs> so we just need to make sure that we are are doing what we what we can to get as much food in our storage as possible and even with water now we're kind of starting to teeter so it's it's a little bit nerve-wracking and these did clear so we'll get rid of those and again have some more area for planting and once these last couple of things this is too far away that's not gonna get built or maybe it will if this gets built and i think that's all she wrote for the builders she uh we're not gonna get this built that that's a bridge way too far apparently which makes no sense built a couple out here but this one right here can't do it can't do it so let's slow it down because we're about to do the unthinkable and this is <laughs> this might not be the best time for it, but we're going to leave on some uh, on a bit of suspense. So I'm cutting those off and I'm placing the gates right here. And now I can connect this up. And now this whole area is the new district. Now what I need to do is click on this district and migrate some population. And what we're going to do is migrate a total of one child and five adults. So interestingly, we, we actually need We've got beavers here at our distribution post, and we've got some at our hauling post. I was mixing them up. So let's get some routes. We're gonna add a route to here, and we are going to need logs. We are going to need planks, and I'm hoping that that's all that we need. We need it fast because we've got no water over here, and we're not gonna be able to reach it unless we get this built, please. <laughs> Yeah, they're hungry. Oh, this is bad. All right, I'm gonna need to temporarily also give a route. We'll prioritize this by the haulers, add a route with food and water. I really don't wanna do this. 
Really don't want to do this. Grilled potato and water. Let's get this to tomorrow and see if we can survive the night. They're hungry and just running back and forth. Okay, coming over it with some gear. Drop it off. Take it over here. Build this. All right, finally. All right, slow this down because we need to make sure that we have someone right here at our water pump. So in this district, we've got Ve, who is not doing well, hungry and thirsty. So let's see, in this district, we can come over here and switch our district view. We can see that we've got food now. And now we've got Ve pumping water, hopefully. <laughs> a little bit. So, all right, we've got a little bit of water storage. That's really helpful. So this is not good. We're not in a happy place here. But we got two children. We, we have no nightlife, so there should be no reproduction over here, which is bad. Now I'm gonna go back to district one and we're at our drought so we can turn off this water pump and turn this one off. And I wanna go back to our routes and we will discontinue water because they should be able to survive on their own now. It's not ideal, but it's, it's doable. Oh, no, it's not. I put those in the wrong spot. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, all right, all right. Back to the drawing board. Water pump right here and right here. And then let's just get rid of these. And we've got to add our water route back because we are in a bad spot. So here we are back here with water. And I just can't imagine you're just carrying a little bit of water as a beaver, trying to get across. This is a long route. And over here, we've got 10 water for our seven beavers. Over here, we've got four unemployed beavers. I really want to move them over here. We'll figure it out. I think this is a more sustainable spot once these things get built. We just need this to get built. <laughs> Desperately need this to get built. So Ve is now cooking potatoes. It's 100% water at this point. We've got no lumber to build this. I might even set up some additional routes, logs, planks, and now we'll get twice as much, which we desperately need. We look over here, we've got five water, no lumber. Are they bringing it over and building this stuff? Bigfoot for president was born. <laughs> all right, no water over here, but we're still, we're working. All right, are you bringing some? Please bring some water. Did not bring water. Instead brought three lumber, which is as good as water basically. Okay, brought nine water and planks. Planks are not what we need. And we need six wood. Oh my goodness. This is just grueling. Just waiting for six wood. <laughs> no water, no wood. Got some planks. Working on this apparently because what else can we do? And we are still working on this. I thought that we finished this area. We didn't. Wow. Oh, and we lost Eddie the weather fox of thirst. Everyone's so thirsty. Blue tree died of thirst. One log away. <laughs> oh, we lost another person of thirst. It's just one log. I don't know why we can't get one log. Oh, look at this. Right after growing up, died. Oh, one of the vase died of thirst. Probably the one in this district. I think there's two ones in the other district. And they're still not prioritizing walking over here. Please have wood. Walking over. Got it. And we don't have a worker. Oh no. Nick J. Macon helping us out over here. And now pumping water, saving lives. Oh my goodness. That was very, very stressful. I think though that now we are finally in a spot where maybe this is somewhat sustainable over here. I need to stop importing water, but I can't do that until we have some sort of supply. Hopefully tomorrow. Next day, and we're just hovering around five. Everyone's trying to drink all the water that they've not had the last few days. And you can see that we're slowly trending in the right direction. Moving up ever so slightly. We've got food. We've got potatoes to grill. And uh, we've got a population that will slowly grow. I am going to make what is probably a terrible decision. I'm going to put a fire right over here. And we'll jazz that up in a bit. But for now, it'll be a cool spot to hang out. Get our 15 logs, it'll take us 15 years. And let's look at District 1 to make sure that it's sustainable. It's doing okay. So it could certainly be better if we had a little bit of power and water. We'd be in a better place. But I think that we're okay. Over here, we're, we're getting there slowly. And I think that's a good place to end it. So I'm going to do that. I hope they've enjoyed this. If you did... Please hit the like button. If you aren't subscribed, please consider doing so. In the next episode, we're going to finally get to our metal. And it's going to be so, so beautiful. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.